Boost, it's your girl Boo, and I'm back with another video for y'all. So today, I know y'all seen that thumbnail, and I know you read that title. So today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a watermark for your videos, or even if you want to use a watermark just for your pictures, for your business, etc. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. So the first thing that you are going to need, you are going to need the PixArt, the PixArt app, and you're going to need... Um, the eraser app and also Fonto. Those are the three apps that I am going to be using today for today's tutorial. And so let's get straight into the video. So first thing first is you want to make sure that you get a background for your um, for your watermark. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to Google. And as you can see, I have this image here. So what I did was I typed in uh, green circle or green, green glitter circle and then this popped up so I went on ahead and saved it I made sure that it was PNG and transparent so I went on ahead and saved that to my phone once you save this as a um, photo to your um, phone it'll show up in your photos and then from here you want to go to um, the eraser app so I'm gonna go ahead and type in eraser and then I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and find that image that I showed you guys. And once you get that image, once you get this image, you want to make sure that you go ahead and go to erase. And then you're going to hit target area right there in the middle. And then you're going to just hit on the outside area of the green. And that'll go ahead and take away the white. Um, box from around that green circle and you want to hit save right there at the bottom and since I already got it saved to my gallery I'm not going to save it again so then once you got that saved you then want to make sure that you go ahead and find the photo that you're that you are going to want to use once you find the photo that you're going to want to use you want to go ahead and go to PixArt and then you're going to go ahead and choose that photo that you want to use. So for instance, I'm going to use this photo for this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and click add. I'm just going to blow it up a little bit so I can see it better. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit cut out. And then I'm going to hit person. And that's going to go ahead and cut me out. And then I can hit preview just to see what it'll look like. And then I can go ahead and hit save. And then from here, I can go ahead and add a border. So I just hit border. And you can, this is where you can add your white lining, your white outlining, or you can make it black if you want to and make it a black outlining or whatever color that you'll prefer. I normally just do white. So I'll just do that, blow it up, hit apply, and then I'll go ahead and hit next, and then I'll save it. So once you save that, it'll show up in your gallery. And since I already have it saved, I'm not going to go ahead and save it. So once you got that, you have your background picture that you want to use. And then you have your actual photo that you want to use for your watermark. We're going to go ahead and take those pictures and we're going to go ahead and open up Fonto. Once you open up Fonto, you want to go ahead and click on the camera. You're going to hit plain images. You're going to hit the plain one, the plain white one. And then you're going to hit the box up here and do custom. And then you're going to make that custom size 800 by 800 and hit done. And then we're going to use this. And then once we go ahead and do that as a use, we can go ahead and add that PNG image that we downloaded. And we're going to add that to here. And then we're just going to blow this up so it can be as big as the, um, the white box that we have. So that way it fits perfectly when you upload it either to your YouTube channel or to your um, photos. It'll show up good. So I have that there. I went on ahead and blew that up. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and hit the four lines in the left hand corner and I'm going to hit add image and then I'm just going to go ahead and choose that picture that I outline it um, of myself and then I'm going to hit done and then I'm going to go ahead and size that up so it matches so you can sit it you know as high or small as big as you will like it I normally do it to about right there and then um, let me make it just a little bit smaller because we are going to be putting words on here. So then I'm going to go ahead and hit add text. 
and I can go ahead and type in subscribe and you can go ahead and use whatever um, whatever you want to use if you want to do subscribe or you can type in pretty much whatever you want to there so then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change the font and I'm gonna go ahead and just put it to one of these fonts here and then once you find the font that you want to use um, and I'm just trying to find one really quick here something that we'll be able to see once you can once you find the the one that you actually want to use then you can go ahead and hit style and then I go to create pattern and then what I normally do is I make it a color um, so I normally will just add like extra colors in there and then I'll hit apply and then what I'll do is I'll go to stroke and I might stroke it with black just so that we can see it good and then I'll hit done and then I'll place it here and I think I'm gonna change the font again just to kind of make it a little uh, cute here and then I can go ahead and size it up just to make it a little bigger and I can put it here and then for that font I really can't read that one too good so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change that font again to something that's um, that you're able to read that is super important when you're doing these kind of things because you want to make sure that people are able to read what you have so I'm gonna try to find something different here that we can see just a little bit better So yeah, you guys, you just go through the fonts that you want it to be, find the one that you want, and once you find that one that you want, um, so I'll just take it back to the one that it was on since I'm not able to really find one that I actually like right now, and when you do your fonts, it takes a little time. I'm also going to do a video on how to add extra um, fonts to your uh, fonto so this is cool I can go ahead and use this and then I can size it up just to make it a little bigger there and then let me go ahead and bring that picture back bring it here so you just want to size everything up make sure it looks nice and then from there I'm just going to go ahead and save it and I'm going to save image as a PNG once you save it as a PNG you should be able to go to your photos and it'll be here and so that way when you upload it um, and you upload it on you know onto something it will show as a PNG and it won't have that white background so yeah y'all that is pretty much how you make a watermark for your YouTube um, either for your YouTube videos or for either images that you want to post and here's just another example of what I made so you just pretty much pick the background color that you want and pick the photo that you want and then just make sure you you know pick the font that you're wanting as well but yeah that's it you guys and if you have any more questions if you feel like I didn't cover something in this video just make sure you comment that down below and again y'all thank you for tuning into this video and i will see y'all in the next video next video hey